Next, the shoulder joint. This is the glenohumeral joint specifically. There are other joints around here, right? You can see a couple. This is the clavicle up here, scapula, and humerus. I've already labeled a few of those things. Um, the glenohumeral joint is specifically this joint right here, the articulation between the glenoid cavity of the scapula, um, which actually now I will label right here. This is the glenoid cavity that is adjacent to the scapula and that articulation with the humerus. This is the ball and socket joint that is multi-axial and allows for abduction, adduction, circumduction, rotation, extension and flexion of the whole arm. So again, I've already labeled some of the specific bones, bursa, things like that. Um, I want, now want to add in some of the specifics for the shoulder joint. Actually, one that I did not add the specifics yet, articular capsule, or the general, sorry, synovial membrane on the inside, and then our fibrous. So then we're going to have um, a couple of ligaments that are important. One is going to be the this ligament right here. This is called the acromion of the scapula, scapula and it's attached to the clavicle. So this is going to be called the acromioclavicular joint. This here attaches the coracoid process to the acromion of the scapula. Coracoacromial ligament. This is a tendon sheath. Don't want to name that. Um, I'll add this one. This is the glenoid labrum. So you may have heard of someone tearing their labrum, common in the shoulder. The shoulder is a very mobile joint. Therefore, it is very um, unstable. Right, it is probably the, it is the most often injured joint because of that increased mobility is sacrifices um, stability. There is one more um, ligament. And actually, if I have the articular car, um, cavity capsule, there's part of it. So it actually, this, kind of covers up the entire shoulder muscle, the glenohumeral ligament is also um, important. And that's actually kind of, is, is also the joint capsule. So it's gonna be partly this, but in reality, it's gonna kind of cover, it's an external ligament because it is that capsule, not inside the capsule. It kind of covers up the whole thing here. Um, it's going from the glenoid cavity to the humerus, covering up that entire thing. I believe that's the main ligament that's not shown here. There are other ligaments, um, ones that connect um, like kind of a, in, within the humerus or connect the clavicle to the scapula. Those are kind of outside of the technical joint cavity because um, those are related to articulations between like the clavicle and the scapula. That's a different joint. Okay, so that's shoulder. The other ball and socket joint is the hip joint. So the hip is another right, multi-axial ball and socket. Um, we've got our basic structures here, like our articular cartilage. We're gonna have a hip bone. We're gonna talk about that, that the coxal. Um, there is the femur, a synovial cavity. There's also a labrum here. It's actually the acetabular labrum. Acetabulum is actually going to be this cavity here. Actually, I will add that in. Acetabular, because it's fun. This is the ligament, the internal ligament. In ligament 
of the head of the femur is called. Quite a name. An internal ligament down there. Um, this down here is the articular capsule. It kind of joins with that. Here are the ligaments um, from the anterior to so the front. Um, this is part of the, we'll call it hip bone for now. It's actually the iliac spine. Here is our greater trochanter of the femur. We'll call it femur for now. This here is called, oh, actually, let me one more bone first. Um, this is going to be our pubic bone. So this is our pubofemoral ligament. Here is our iliofemoral ligament. Wait, where did ilio come from? Well, this is actually the um, iliac bone here. Will make sense when we learn about the pelvic bones. This back here, this is the posterior view. This is the ischium. Is this part of the bone right here? Um, so therefore, we have the ischiofemoral ligament. Basically, when you're, you know, guessing for the, or not guessing, but trying to remember for the hip, a lot of them are something femoral, because a lot of things are attaching to the femur. Here's the greater trochanter again. What we're going to call it femur for now. And then we've got the ilio. So this is the ili. Um, this should be ilium. It's iliac crest is part of it. This is the ilio femoral ligament from the posterior view. The same one as, as that. Okay, this will, so this is introduction to these terms. This will make a lot more sense when you go through them and learn the bone anatomy and the muscle attachment points, et cetera.